folks, this is officially right now on UTC at uh, 3 p.m. over in Singapore. We're officially live in King of Sea. Fun times. Okay, well, they verified both teams. So hopefully we're starting off in just a second. All right, good luck, everybody. Oh, hopefully, hopefully. Come on, let's start this. <laughs> <laughs> Both teams are ready. Come on. He's made the question. Both teams are ready for battle. Two Tell has said they are ready. Yeah. Is Junok going to respond? Junok has said they're ready. All right. Surely that means we're about to begin. Three, two, game start. One. Battle. Okay. So, yay. Two teams are over. And <laughs> let, we will be getting on with how this goes. Oh, what a lineup. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at those lineups now. So, Looking on the side of Team Alpha, so that's going to be Tuta, we have got a Montana Schlieffen, San Martin, Mosper, Marseille, Natalie, Dairy, Marso, Yu Yang. Whilst on Junox side, we've got Vermont and Ohio, a couple of uh, American chunky boys over there. The Des Moines, Petro, Goliath, Marseille, Venezia, Harugamo, and Marso. So what, do we, what does this uh, tell me immediately straight off the bat here? Well, looking at Genox kind of a lineup then, um, purely because of the fact that we've got the Her Herugamo and a Des Moines on that team. Mm. That's kind of telling me that um, they're probably thinking of doing some sort of smoke strat. Because um, that's typically what happens with a Herugamo. Um, so if I could just go on to him real quickly, can, he, can I join him? Yeah. Uh, oh, no, he's not running the legendary mod Herugamo. Interesting. Okay, he's running a pretty standard kind of build for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, dokey. So, we've got some interesting builds and also lineups for all these teams. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, I like this. So, Venezia over here on uh, Ginox side here is actually running the legendary mod with no concealment for Venezia. So, he's planning on really trying to abuse the uh, absolute uh, madness that you get out of the smokes with the Venezia with the legendary mod. So, it'll be very, very interesting to see how well that does work out for him. That one's going to be exciting to see. Um, is this... This is a radar Yu Yang on two tails side, so that's going to be interesting to see how he does actually turn out and play. Um, at the moment, they're doing a fairly standard split. I would like to say we've got Yu Yang, Schlieff, and Marseille, and Napoli heading over across to the D point. Um, we've got a Daring that's pushing for centre from two tails side, backed up by Sandy Marceau. Uh, whilst on the other flank here, we got uh, with Gene Oxide, we got the Goliath, Harigamo, Vermont that's pushing out towards the Alpha slash Bravo side. Petro also looks like he's making the way his way. Oh no! Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're gonna want to check out this Petro's commander build. Wait, 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 who? Gene Ox? Gene Ox Petro commander build. Um, Oh, uh, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> and he's also running the FAA. He has not picked Hydro. Uh, <laughs> this is truly a moment of all time for King of the Sea. Uh, <laughs> okay. Right. That is going to make things very interesting for this Petro player, not having any commander skills whatsoever. Um, ooh, I... Mm. That makes me want to check all of the rest of these commanders now, make sure they're all running some sort of commander builds. Oh, that is... That is bad. Okay. So we've got the Genoc uh, Marso here. He's already pushing straight into the decap, mm. um, going for an early capture contest of that. Uh, he has got his support here in terms of the Vinets here and stuff. Vinets is making an interesting decision turning back into the cap. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but so be the case. So Marceau is hiding directly behind the island there. He's launched a couple of across to a suspected zone. And the Yu Yang is actually popping a radar. He has managed to spot out the Marceau here. Marceau is being engaged by the Yu Yang. And, well, looks like the Marseille behind has opened up. Shots going in. What have we got? Well, Marseille is definitely coming away there. She's not running right away. Marceau from the Marseille. Yeah, Marseille is running away from the Yu Yang. Oh, ouch. Yeah, Marceau's been chunked quite a fair bit already, which is obviously good to see from um, the side of Genoc. I'm sorry, from Tutel. 
So you yanked him, he actually punished a little bit. Ooh, dodges the Venezia rounds, which is good to see. There's a lot of um, Haruga vibes to like that. Marseille, Marseille, he's getting absolutely smashed here. Uh, the general from Marseille pushed forward a little bit too aggressively. He was actually getting crossfired there, I think, from the Montana and Schlieffen. And, mm, and mm. it's down to 20k hit points already, which is a terrible spot um, start for that ship. I'm just looking over on the other side at the moment, uh, 99, that there's a big fight with the Haruguma going down. Over here with the Haruguma and the Marceau. That is less than oh, ideal, let's say, for that Marceau. Genoc is really suffering hard at the earlier stage with the uh, Haruguma and the Marseille. Yeah, no, exactly. It's not a great start for them. Um, this must say, I'm very, very curious to see. He's, he's spotted at the moment, but the question is, is he going to be able to go dark, and is he going to be able to take the beating? Um, the Harugamo over here on the Alpha Cap is actually within his own smoke. He is managing to cap, um, and I think he will probably get the cap here. It's just a question of seeing what happened, how Tutel is going to respond to this. Almost like down. Excellent crossfire there from Montana, managing to shut down that ship very early into the game. A little talk um, on the Marseille, no, missed it just. Yeah, very, very close there. We're just having a look. So the team is meant, so two down has managed to actually spot up Marseille here. They're actually putting in a lot of uh, hurt, trying to get him knocked out. Primarily from the Schlieffen that's actually pushing forward into the Charlie Cap. This is really, really quite aggressive here. Mm. He's got to be very, very careful. He doesn't like get himself caught in a crossfire. But provided he goes close to this island, he's he should actually cop any damage because no one will be able to shoot him. Well, any cap vision. No, so a gonna hit this the morning. Mm. No, no. At the moment, any cap has actually been held well over with the Genoc and the Masse for two tail, and also the Saint Martin. Actually, just kiting in the corner over here at this stage, taking the position. The Montana two tail is positioned. In a good uh, flanking uh, position against the Ohio at long distance, which yep. is oh, I love those shells. Oh, more shells coming in from the Monty towards this Ohio. Ohio is sitting stationary. I think he's starting to reverse. Uh, is he going to get caught? No, uh, like yeah. on the end damage there. Yeah, but this Des Moines sent in uh, from Genox's perspective here he is actually starting to come under a bit of pressure from this Marseille that's out on the flank. And that's not good at all. No, it's not. I mean, like I said, the monster is actually hanging in position at the moment uh, for two tail, and he's doing the right thing where he is. Uh, angled correctly, it's looking pretty good. Oh, shots out at this minute here from, I think, the Schlieffen. Oh, are they going to hit? Uh, what? No. At least hit. One, maybe one or two, yeah. Does it look like one pen, but. Well, I have taken a shot at the Moskva and Mr. Ah, uh, well. So at the moment here, Tutel does have the cap advantage. They do have uh, two caps to the to one, um, which is obviously a benefit for them. So they've just got to try and maintain control of these caps. It looks like the Daring here is probably going to try and enter the Amphur cap, try and see if he can take that one back. But he's just got to be careful of this Petra and stuff over here. In which this Petro is fully <laughs> 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 regretting not checking his commander build before going in. Yeah. Ooh. Oops, San Martin is opening up on this uh, Petro. San Martin is a very interesting choice. I, I, to say I did not enjoy fighting that thing during clan battles would be an understatement. Those thoughts are looking pretty good towards the Petro at this stage. Oh, no. Oh. He's going to dodge all of them, I think. Well, he's going to cause himself a bit of a problem here. He's going to have a technical breach in that corner. And, yeah, he's going to get focused by it on by the San Martin. Yeah, he, he has beached himself, but he did do Oh, he kind of shells on the Montana. Could this be a sitter on it? Here we go, here we go, shots out. Are they going to connect? Are they going to make... That's a bit of a nothing burger. A bit of a nothing burger there, just unfortunately only knocks out like one of the turret. Um, which is uh, less than standard, let's say. Yeah, yeah just but a lot of heat is going out his way. A lot of shells starting to pour in towards the daring as well from the Harugamo and everything. Oh, imagine the dodge a fair bit of that. Harugamo is just doing his best to just be like absolutely spraying shells everywhere, as you expect. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, they come from Montana again. Thing, if they get oh, Monty, more shots from Monty. Well, they're going one turret just to get a bit of an idea of what oh, he's doing. Here comes a whole bunch. Here you go, here you go. Anything's out from Monty. Oh, what? A single overbend. <laughs> 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 oh, this Petro man, he doesn't understand how lucky he got. Well, yeah, I just said to myself, I first the commander bit. Oh, come on, this Monty, surely is he going to smash him? <laughs> Regardless, though, uh, Tutel has done an excellent job here. They've managed to secure all four caps. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, that's a big hit. That's a big hit from Monty there against the Petro. Managing to deal a, a fairly substantial chunk of damage there. So that was a very, very good hit to see there. Now, I'm just wondering how on earth Genoc is going to come back from this because they've lost map control. Mm. They don't have any, like, like strong areas to push. So I'm just yeah. wondering how they, yeah. like, turn this one around. Arugamo has been spotted out by the Daring. Uh, this is going to be less than stellar, I think, for the Arugamo. And, uh, yeah, there he goes. So that he puts them even more on the back foot, uh, Gino. So this must, so what's he going to do? He's going to try and enter Bravo. I think he is, maybe. Oh, is he actually going to go for the... Oh, wow. Marseille just shut down the Venezia. Absolutely slapped him. So Piero's going to the Des Moines there. Absolutely nailing him as well. I think this is already over for Gino. I don't think there's any way coming back from this. Losing all those ships in such quick succession as well. Good lord, that, that was some very, very quick kills. Picked up all in well, pretty much instantly. Oh, by the way, um, some of the viewers were just commenting about the uh, sound issue for the microphone. Um, <laughs> apparently, uh, the microphone setting has got a uh, monitor output out as well, too. That's why we get a double echo. Good job, Wargaming. So proud of you, man. Excellent. <laughs> Yeah, 10 seconds left until this game is over. I don't think Genoc is going to be um, pulling this one back from uh, this kind of a situation here, unfortunately, for them. So congratulations there to Tutel for winning this uh, very first round. So excellent stuff. So game one, it goes to Tutel. Tutel, very well played. I like the, I like the transition. That's a, it's like Team Alpha is the winner. That's actually very nice. And I mean, let's consider the fact as well. Tutel did not win a single, uh, well, sorry, did not lose a single ship in this uh, entire round there, so. There you go. Anyhow, let's go back to our triple cam and then we come back for the next round. Yeah, so we're going to set up the next battle in a second here. Now, I have to admit, that was interesting. So I do apologize, folks, if I haven't gone into the sound issue. <laughs> Um, oh, Revan, what are you doing, man? Oh, uh, man, I mean, like, I try to war game with that, that and, like, lay out an error thing. Maybe I should not. Next time. <laughs> Always double check. There we go. Good job. I'm so proud. Anyway. I hope now that, um, that Petro from the last game, he actually goes ahead and he fixed his commander build right now. <laughs> uh, I, I think, I think we see the Petro at the moment in the middle of the Undershoots we playing right now. <laughs> work it out. Mm. There mm. you go. Uh, so, uh, as my shirt says, sometimes shit happens. So, <laughs> welcome to World of Warcraft, folks. So it's um, shit happens for a reason. Good lord, what are you meant to do? Uh, that, that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now we can guess uh, what kind of captain belt he will bring. Um, that's a good question. Who was it specifically? I'm curious. That was a Texas Ken. See if he manages to fix his commander build for the next time around. I have to say that, uh, for considering that, uh, how they won, that was actually. Pretty well done. <laughs> it's a very, very um, solid one there by Tutel. They mentioned just like essentially taking 